Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I've just filmed this 90s layered bouncy blow dry. Super easy, simple, quick. So if you want to achieve this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm starting with wet hair because I like to blow dry a specific way. I use my Cloud9 hair dryer and I'm just going to basically rough dry till it's fully dry. And then I use my round brush for my fringe area just because I prefer the way that it lifts when I use a round brush to get that volume before I go in with the tool that I'm going to be using for this blowout. So this round brush is from Olivia Garden. My hairdresser uses it on me, so I bought it and it's so, so good. When I blow drying, I'm gonna flip my head upside down. I'm gonna put all of my hair one side and just really try and get the lift as much as possible on either side like this. Um, I've also used um, some Coco and Eve leave-in treatment and the Color Wow Dream Coat all over my hair before I blow dry it. I will do a more in-depth video for my blow dry routine but I'm basically just dealing with the fringe so that it doesn't dry funny before I go in with the actual tool. Okay so my hair is completely dry. Sorry about the lighting changes by the way I'm still getting used to trying to figure out what the best setup is but anyway I am going to be using the Mermaid Thermal Brush. I only recently got this and I love it, it's just so easy to use. I'm gonna section this top part, following from my roller here, all the way to like, just underneath my crown. Once I've got all that, I'm just gonna quickly clip it out the way. The rest of my hair, to get it out of the way, I'm just gonna do a like really loose ponytail at the back. Make sure it's all brushed through and start from the back. So I'm just gonna, with my finger, section, create the sections at the back. Then I pull all of this hair down. Just feel how much is there. I'm gonna clip this here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get the brush, bring my hair around it, like wrap it around, and then you're just going to pull basically. And you're just gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna keep twisting. I'm gonna get it round and do it again. Bring it up and twist. Then once I feel like I've done enough on the end to get that flick, I'm just gonna roll it down as if I'm using like a curling tong and I'm just gonna hold it there. Maybe like five seconds, you can like feel the hair as well at the top, that's what I like to do to sort of see when I really feel the heat coming through and then I'm like, okay, and I'm gonna just twist it out, pull it out and you get a lovely little, little bounce at the end. Then I'm gonna get my roller, also from Mermaid, while it's still hot, make sure you're really creating tension at the end of that roller and then you're just rolling it down. Get a clip, I like these ones the best, the long ones. And secure it in place. I'm gonna do the exact same the entire way across the top of my whole head. This thermal brush feels so gentle on the hair as well, like I feel like there's not too much pulling going on, especially when I'm using like a round brush and a hair dryer, as amazing as that method is, it's, it just feels like there's a lot of pulling on the root and the scalp and I don't know, it just can't be good. So that's another reason why I love this brush so much. I'm gonna do the same thing. The key is with this 90 supermodel blow dries, it's just getting that kind of nice flick and bounce at the end. I feel like there's all sorts of different methods and how like extreme you want the curl but this is my go-to anyway this front bit is like key for that like lift that you want hold it there i'm just gonna go over my fringe i'm just gonna go under and over like that Feel the little bits that fall out and that is the top section done now we move on to the bottom section I'm just going to section from the top of my ears, these two under bits here, literally the same as what you're doing on the top, but you're just rolling under like this. So flicky at the end, it's literally exactly what I want. And then just get the next section, you just twisting. Make sure to get those layers in it as well. Sometimes I'd maybe 
do like that so that you get even more lift but I don't know what should, what should I do do you know what, I'm just going to do one today because this is obviously like an easy method so easy and quick we're going to just do less but if you wanted like more of a if you wanted more sections you can obviously do more sections it doesn't really matter you're doing the same thing you're just splitting up your hair into more sections basically and holding it at the root here and then with these side bits I literally try and hold up as best as I can roll in and up because then you're getting that lift at the root and then pin it in place okay I'm doing the same thing on this side I'm just holding it there for a bit just drag it all the way up as high as I can without those layers and baby hairs coming out just making sure that all those pieces are in it and there we are it's currently 2 30 so I'll leave it in for half an hour and we'll see what they look like it's been half an hour I've been so impatient I've literally been like clock watching like watching it the whole time let's take these out hopefully it's a good one the sun coming in right now <laughs> I'm so sorry i can't even deal with myself but i wasn't recording to take these two out but these two went so well um i was gonna like put the roller back in and refilm taking it out but i'm like no look this is how they went and then what i've just done is spritz some sam mcknight cool girl texture spray under there under there and I spritzed a tiny bit on the ends as well just for like more hold I find texture sprays work better than hairspray for me personally okay so now I'm definitely filming I'm going to take out the top these this is like always my favorite part I'm so sorry I don't know what to do about this lighting Whee. these little flicks are just my fave and also don't worry about the fluffiness for now. It's going to be dealt with. I just love having layers. For the main event, I'm just going to do another spritz of the Sam McKnight up here. And here. Okay, and then just on my fringy bits as well. whoa and there you have it bouncy voluminous oh my god that sun maybe i should draw the blind now okay is that better i can't tell i feel like i needed the the natural light but we're gonna make it work right the next thing i do is i use my coco and eve miracle hair elixir i literally have so many of these i'm obsessed not too much, but a lot of people talk about, especially like when you use Velcro rollers, that kind of fluffiness at the ends. You don't want that, so running it over the ends. Okay, the lighting has gone absolutely awful, but um, if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. I have so many methods to get this look with a hairdryer, with straighteners, with a curling tong, with all of it. So if you have any specific requests for what I use next or if you want to see anything else, then let me know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I keep forgetting to look in the lens. I'm just looking up at the screen and I feel like I need to be looking like directly at the camera lens, but... Okay, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching.